Welcome back to Texas All Water Fishing, and in this Texas All Water Fishing, I'm going to talk to you why we are right at the beginning of the best time of the year to fish. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so uh, Captain Cody's over here at uh, Cabela's. You know, they're one of his sponsors, and um, they just opened a tracker. I think it says Tracker Boats track off road i don't know they they added to their store and they added a boating section to their store and i think today's the grand opening so they have captain cody over here today cutting up with them uh talking to them tracker boats is what it says on the outside of the sign i think but uh i'm gonna go run in here i'm gonna see captain cody and uh see what's up and give him a hard time hey you guys welcome to the grand opening of the track and marine boating center at the city bass pro shops here in texas we are so excited for y'all to get a view of what we're up to here today i've got our general manager of the bass pro shops art i've got captain cody with me ryan on my, my service specialist and i am megan Olkin, we have a couple of events coming up uh, later today. Come and join us. Also, this Saturday, 11 to 3, we're going to have another event. Uh, come and join us, see the boats, and we'll be here. Captain Cody? Yes. Speak. We'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be here looking at all the pretty boats and uh, trying to sell some of the things. We're going to have some fishing games and stuff, maybe, I think, here for the kids. Some uh, art stuff back in the back. I'm bringing my fishing game. I didn't show you that. Perfect. I've got a fishing game that's on land fishing game. It's uh, all fun for the kids. So it uh, should be a good day. I'm here, you know, I'm sure we've done outdoor adventures too. So uh, trying to spread the word about my nonprofit also. So we'll talk more about that later while we're fishing together, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. What do you ever really have to say? Cody? Well, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, my sweet summer is gone. I love fishing during the summertime. Uh, I love getting out there in the surf and uh, feeling the sand between the toes, although technically I wear shoes. But <laughs> I love getting out there and chasing after those surf trout, getting wet and having fun and playing around in the waves. It's always, always a lot of fun to get out there and fish along the beachfront well that time of the year is over that's done summer is done we're getting ready to get into fall we actually have our first cool front or cold front but really a cool front that is coming through the galveston houston area right now and that's gonna affect fishing for you guys okay that's gonna affect us a little bit and uh how we kind of go forward through the rest of this week and we'll touch on that in just a second but First, I want to talk to you why fall is the best time of the year to fish. Now, I know everybody has their own preferential preferences, what kind of fish they like to target, whether it's specks or reds or flounder. And, well, during the fall time, you can get on all three and you can get on them in nice big numbers. We'll start off with speckle trout. Like I said, the summer is ending, so we're no longer going to be in triple digits, hopefully. And what the trout do is that they start leaving a lot of the coastal areas and leaving the beachfront. And they start coming a little more inlet. They start coming more inshore. You'll start picking them off in the bays and in the bayous. And they can be found in pretty good numbers just coming in. So keep an eye out for that. I mean, around points and drop-offs and oyster reefs. Like I said, we have a lot of the corridors that lead out. To, we have some of the corridors that lead out to the more open water. You're going to start targeting them in, in and out that area. Now, with this cool, cool front, like I said, it's going to dump a lot of rain into our water systems. Now, trout really don't like fresh water. So a lot of times they'll push away. They'll go deeper or they'll go away from the water, away from the fresh water, away from the runoffs. This week, if I would be targeting trout, I would be looking at them more in the passes, a little more away from a lot of that water drainage and that runoff, and even in more deeper holes and deeper pockets. Now, Red Drum, there is no funner and better fighting fish inshore than reds red drum you know you gotta love those guys they inch for inch pound for pound they are the biggest fighters and right now we do have the bull red going on and what that means is that these 
big O overslot reds that are just powerful and just are just brutes. They they're they're swimming and schooling in nice big numbers, and when you can find them and when you can get on them, the numbers that you're able to catch are almost endless. I mean, you can sit out there and fish for four or five hours and pick off six or ten or twelve. Uh, reports come in that handful of people fishing off Surfside Jetty or just getting into them, getting into them. So, you know, the areas you can target them again, it's around the coastal areas. Any of the rock formations that we have out there, whether it's North or South Jetty at Galveston, Surfside Jetty, Seawolf Park, the piers along the beachfront, you know, the reds just moving in and out, these nice, big, huge schools of reds, and there's way different. There's there's a lot of different methods how you can catch them, where they use cut bait or use some nice big spoons. It's just fun. They're just fun to catch and release. Of course, here in Texas, you can keep one over slot a year but they're just funny catch release i love catching reds it, it is it is a lot a lot of fun it's great to get some of the younger generation out there and throw some cut bait out and soak a little bait and let them feel that nice big heavy tug of just one of the biggest and best fighting fish that we offer here in the inshore of texas now, besides the bull reds, reds are schooling and a lot more lower water, lower lane water areas, um, more shallow areas like the marsh and some of the flats and some of the bayous. Reds are starting to school up. Actually, they kind of started uh, towards the end of the summer. As we transition more and more into fall, you're going to start seeing them school up in much, much bigger numbers. Get those, those nice big copper pumpkin color reds, if you will. They're just beautiful beautiful specimens out there and again you know there's nothing more fun than catching a nice mid slot red in about a foot of water there isn't it's it's a lot of fun so all you kayakers and weight fishermen out there everybody with those skinny and flat boats that can run real skinny water real shallow water you know this is a great time of the year to start targeting those redfish as they get back into those marshy areas those grassy areas those real low water areas around oyster reef and drop off and bins when you find them it is a tremendous amount of fun just to see them just to see them belling around and schooling in the back marshes it's there's not a more beautiful sight to me than be able to come across that and see that all right so my favorite fish to catch all-time favorite fish to catch catch inshore fish is a flounder now everybody knows about the flounder run everybody knows that you know the flounders start moving and going offshore in these nice big numbers but before they start they actually like to feed a lot they actually have to feed a lot because it takes a lot of energy for them to migrate and move from inshore to more open waters so right now although the flounder run hasn't officially started right now they're still feeding in nice numbers they're still going to be aggressively feeding and when you can find them you can get on them you're going to catch not just one but you'll catch several because they do like to feed in big groups they will be in schools some of the areas that you can find them is around any structure it doesn't matter if it's a drop off or if it's an oyster reef it's grass line you can find them a lot around a lot of the rock formations that we have around our shorelines or around the jetties around bulkheads any place that there's structure, you're going to find some flounder. Flounder are residential. No matter where you go, you're going to find them. So wherever you typically fish and you've had luck, uh, even this past spring or past summer, catching some of the flounder, go back to those same spots. I bet you you're going to run into them again, and they're going to be feeding very, very aggressive because they have to. They have to get all that energy so they can start hitting a little more into open waters. So the fall weather is awesome you get a little cooler no more triple degrees we're not burning up anymore out there no more sucking on that pedialyte trying to rehydrate you know fall is here the cooler temperatures are going to start coming a little by little by little more and all the fish are active every top predator fish that you want to get is active right now everything is feeding everything is moving in and out the area this is a great great time of the year to fish my favorite time of the year to fish as far as fish activity goes i can't wait i can't wait to get back out there i can't wait to get out there after this front moves through so i can go see if i can find some of those flatties see if they're moving yet if they're transitioning yet can't wait to get out there and see if i can get some of those reds that are schooling and i'm kind of curious i'm curious to see if all this runoff pushed the trout out there near and around the jetties so i can't wait i'm gonna be hitting out 
with a few with a couple friends of mine, Captain Cody. I'll be going out on a boat with him, so stay tuned for that video. That's gonna come up next. That trip is actually taking place tomorrow. So um Keep that in mind. Keep an eye out there. That'll kind of let you know kind of what we ran into and what we saw out there. Don't forget, I do have a Patreon page. So my patrons will hear about that trip before anybody else does. Because when I get home, I'll do official reports and I'll give all that great news to my patrons so they know how they can plan their next fishing trip or even if they want to run out. See if they can go out and produce the same kind of activity and the same kind of catches we did as we went out. But thanks a lot. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions or comments, or maybe you can give a list down below. What is some of your favorite fish to target? And what do you throw as far as lures goes? Like, how do you target the reds during the red run? How do you target the flounder during the flounder run? What about specs? As the specs starts coming more inshore, are you a topwater guy? Do you like throwing more tandem lures? I mean, what is your go-to lure? Leave that in the comments below for comments below for anybody that is uh, new to fishing or anybody that maybe just want to try a new lure or possibly new technique. I just want to thank each and every one of you again for tuning on Texas All Water Fishing. Don't forget, you haven't subscribed yet to the channel. Please go and do so. Like the video, leave a comment. All that stuff helps out tremendously. Until next time, I hope you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.